Just within the last 30 minutes, we heard from two college students tased by police in the summer of 2020 during protests after the murder of George Floyd. They spoke about the $2 million settlement Atlanta leaders agreed to pay them last night. Let's get straight to 11 Alive's Ariana Moniz, who was at that news conference with the wrap up just a few minutes ago. Aisha, that news conference, it just wrapped up and the lawyers for Messiah Young and Tanaya Pilgrim, they say the settlement is not a gift and the experience that they both went through is something they didn't deserve as they were both innocent kids. Take a look. This is a body cam video of that confrontation between Messiah Young, Tanaya Pilgrim and Atlanta police officers back in May of 2020. Now, this occurred during the height of protests in response to the death of George Floyd. In the video, you can see Atlanta police officers smashing the windows of the car that the students were in before tasing them and taking them into custody. Now, their attorneys say they had nothing to do with the protests. They were driving home from getting something to eat and got stuck in traffic. And APD has previously said the confrontation happened over a curfew violation. Now, the students' legal team today, they say that they were knowingly violating the curfew and that nothing can compensate these young people for their traumatic experience. Now, we did hear, hear from Messiah and Tanaya, who both say this experience will forever be a part of their life. Take a listen. Thank you for everyone who supported us over the years. Um, there's a lot of work to be done. There's still blood on the streets of Atlanta. Um, the idea of justice that was once lauded has unfortunately crumbled to dust. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has been supporting and uplifting us. Um, this situation occurred four years ago, and um, it's a memory that I've been wanting to forget, and I'm sure Messiah has too, but unfortunately, um, it is etched into our memory. Now, two officers, they were fired, but their dismissal was overturned after Atlanta City's civil board. They claimed that, or they found that the city did not follow its own personnel procedures. Also, six officers, they were initially charged, but those charges were dropped, and that's what led to this lawsuit being filed by Messiah and Tanaya. It's also important to note that that settlement and that resolution passed by city council. City council say that this does not, this should not be considered a uh, liability and claiming that they are responsible for what happened. Reporting live from downtown Atlanta, I'm Mariana Menise for 11 Alive. Back to you.